So if you've been working on a chart and you need to add a marker, such as, for example, if you have some text selected, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do just that with this simple and easy solution. So let's jump right in with our data here. So what we need to do is on the data point we want to add, we need to add another column that we're gonna use for the actual display. And we need to tie it to our value here. And so we can maybe just make a distinction here, rain and rain. And then I'm just going to paint this format over here. And then what we're gonna do is a simple if formula. And if this is equal to blank, we'll do nothing. Otherwise, we'll display this. And now if I just drag this down, you can see where we have the rain that shows up there. Now we can edit our chart. So I'm gonna double click on this. And then we need to add this column D to our data range. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna add it as a series. Now this is not what we want here. We don't want it as another column. So we need to go back up and change this to a mixed or combo chart. And you can see now it's beginning to look like what we need. So first of all, let me address one thing we can do here as well. So right now this is gonna show up right on the end of each of those bars. If you wanna give a little bit of space, if you wanna go above, what we can do here is times something like 1.1, which is gonna add 10%. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down. And you can see now it's floating over that. So you could drop that down a little bit if you wanna get a little closer, like uh, 1.05, which would be 5%. And now this is barely touching. So you can decide how you want that to show up. And then let's go ahead and look at how we can adjust this. So under the setup, we have the stuff like the chart type, data range, and selecting that series. To do the other customization, we'll go to customize, then we can go to series and select that rain. And at this point, we can scroll down, and what we're looking at here is the point. So it may be something like this when you first get in here. And if so, you can just come here and change it to the size that you want. You can change the color if you want it green, orange, whatever you want. You can add new colors here if you know the hex or RGB for that. And then once you select that color, you can also change the shape. There's a variety of shapes that you can use here. And then once you find the shape that you like, so maybe we want to go to square, then we can X out and see this, and maybe now we'll drop this to 1.05, and now you can see that kind of floats right above. And now you can see that data point on your chart. So that is it for this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if this video is helpful for you, and check out the other videos on our channel for more tutorials on both Boo Sheets and AppScript. As always, have a great day.